What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, and we are back with some more Power Rangers episode review. And this is episode 10 of Power Rangers Beast Morphers, and I have to say it was really good, but I do not like the ending of the episode. So we're going to get to some pros and cons of the episode. And before we get into that, if you're new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Drop them likes, Instagram, Twitter. Let's hop into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get to some pros. I do love the action scenes between the Rangers and Dolls and Monster. I thought that was pretty neat the way they used the stock footage and original footage. The fact that they added some drama and some intense scenes in this episode was really nice to touch. And the acting was really good overall. And my second favorite part of the episode is when Devin had a moment with Dr. K. And if you don't know who she is, she's from RPM. She's like the mentor of the team. And she was one of the most unique characters from that series. And she was pretty much used properly for this episode. So she talks to Devin about the uh, split meters. That the, uh, the thing that the Dino Charge Rangers used to freeze Zeno Wing. Y'all know the plot of that episode from that series. And they pretty much used the same thing for this episode to free Devin's father from Evox. Which I thought it was a great idea. And... The Rangers' plan was to shoot Evox with the bow and arrow, but it ended up failing because Evox knew what the Rangers were doing, and he basically just caught them off guard. So Devin arrives with the um, Beast X Blaster, just shooting, well, he tried to shoot at his father, but this scene alone was very intense, and it really goes to show you how well uh, Roy Travis is performance in this episode was really nice to see and his friends were trying to tell him you cannot trust him don't listen to him but the way that Devin's face expression went from frown to a smile and you just knew that he had a plan so and calls up Devin letting him know that it's ready so the split meters is up transported outside of the uh, the headquarters they basically just trap Mayor Daniels inside the thing and ends up splitting the two from Evox to Mayor Daniels. So they both ended up splitting apart, which worked perfectly. And the Mega Soul battle was, once again, kind of short. I wasn't really feeling it, but I'm going to save for that for the con of this episode. So, get into some cons. No, 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 no. Before we get into the cons, uh, one more favorite moment from this episode is when... All the way back to the season one finale of Beast Morphers, Mayor Daniels explained how Evox got into his body. When he got inside a portal, it blasted him back, and he experienced some Evox's transmission to his body, and that was the only memory he had from him. And so I do like this nice touch with uh, Devin and his father said, look, now, now that we both don't have to save each other from one another in circumstances, well, you're gonna have to. <laughs> In these upcoming episodes, <laughs> lol. So let's get into some cons. I do not like the Megazord battles once again because it felt kind of short. It could have been longer, but yeah, I, I just want to fill in it. Ben and Betty is uh, the ending was not so great to me, but I think those are two smarter nitpicks I only have with this episode. So, my final rating with this episode, I would have to give it four Debbie Hughes inside of five. The reason why I didn't put it a five because of the two nitpicks that I had. But it's still a good episode. Don't get me wrong, it really is. But Ben and Betty at the end of the episode is what did it for me. So did you see this episode? What is your all thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments down below. And did you enjoy my review of it? You know what to do. Run them likes, comment down below, Instagram and Twitter, you already know what's up. I'll see you in my next video.